I know you guys are used to dealing with players and manipulators, but let's just focus on, again, this is a man who is making a real effort. And the bottom line is his willingness to express that is typically going to be a good sign. Yes, he could be lying. I'm not going to act like that doesn't exist, all right? But we should not jump to the negative. And, and if you're going to make that assumption, all right, that he's just playing games or trying to make you feel good, don't do it simply based off that specific action. Evaluate the, the, the overall relationship. So it's like, okay, if he doesn't, if you guys can't talk for hours, he doesn't compliment you on non-physical attributes and some of the other things I will mention later in this list, but he's claiming he's always thinking about you, then it's more fair to be fishy or to be skeptical about it because it doesn't seem consistent with other good actions or, or attributes in this relationship. However, if everything else is good, if he's consistent, if he's showing himself to be a man who's invested, there's no reason to think that him saying he's thinking about you is a lie. Now, getting back to the main point here is that, yes, a, a willingness to express that and the fact that he is thinking about you, again, shows emotional investment, shows that, that he is attracted to you in that way because the reality is that not that the man who only wants to have sex won't ever think about you, but he's occupied with other things more than likely. If, if a man's not serious about you, he's not giving his time mentally to thinking about you and considering you in that way and all these different things. He's on to whatever else he's doing. But this guy is emotionally present, all right? And the fact that he's willing to say it, again, speaks to another sign. I know I keep pushing this down to the other signs I'm going to mention, but it's going to, it shows vulnerability, and I'll get deeper into that later. So definitely embrace that. But again, you're not going to kind of give you a full outlook on this. Be willing to express it too. Like, I, I, so many of you are afraid to be open and vulnerable, even when you really like the guy. And I know the concern is, well, you know, if you, if you express your desire too much or if you show him how much you care, they switch up on you or, you know, now you lose your leverage or power. Stop thinking. That's a very unhealthy mindset. And those things are only true with men who are not serious about you. But if this guy is truly invested, is truly into you, is truly attracted to you emotionally, then your willingness to express you were thinking about him, all right, it's only going to make him feel even better. It's only going to empower him even more to be more expressive to you. It does not work against you when he's actually the right guy. And so you got to look at your willingness and ability to, or no, willingness more specifically to be vulnerable as a tool to expose the man that you're dealing with. Because if you being vulnerable, if you expressing how I was thinking about you and all these things makes him run, makes him start to act funny, makes him start to be disrespectful or stop treating you the way he was treating you, then that shows you clearly he's not it. You did yourself a favor. You weeded this man out by, I don't want to use the word exposing, by letting yourself be free and open with your emotions and your love. That's the thing. The problem is not in your expression of your emotions. The problem is in ignoring the red flags. The problem is in allowing bad behavior to, to go unchecked, all right, because you've convinced yourself that you like him so much, you don't want to rock the boat. These are the things that really cause a problem, not you being open and vulnerable. So, yes, we, we want to look for his, his willingness to do so and his willingness to express him thinking about you, all right, and him being considerate of you, but also be willing to do the same. So now number four, he values your opinion, all right? So this one, <laughs> I'm laughing because there's already some things going on in my head when I think about this point, right? But first and foremost, yes, I believe that when the man is emotionally attracted to you, he values your opinion. Now let me make this clear. It, it doesn't necessarily mean he thinks you have all the answers. It simply means that your perspective is important to him. What you think, how you feel is important to him. And he wants to consider that, all right? But one, let's start with 
be willing to give your opinion. And, and I say that because, quick story, I remember dealing with a woman many years ago, and I would ask her opinion. And she would always say, I don't know, I don't want to give you the wrong answer. And so one day I had to stop her and say, listen, stop it. If I ask you your opinion, you give me your opinion. I'm not asking for the right answers. It's not about right or wrong. It's about I want to hear your perspective. Be open and honest and that's it. It's all good. But don't give me I don't know. Tell me what you think. All right? And from there, she was willing to do that. And she made that correction. All right? So some of you may be afraid to share your opinion because, again, you're afraid to give the wrong answer. There is no right or wrong. It's an opinion. That's it. It's an opinion. He understands that. He just values your perspective. On the flip side, some of you are more than ready to give your opinion, all right? And not only are you ready to give your opinion, you're expecting him to take your direction. Now, here is the problem, all right? We, 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 we love to see that you have found a man who respects and values your opinion. But that does not mean he's supposed to do what you say because you said it. It does not mean you will always be right. Again, it means you are sharing your perspective. And he has a choice that he can either use it or not. And if he does not use it, it's not a knock on you. What's important is that he was willing to listen to you. When I say listen to you, hear you out. Hear what you have to say. Take in the information that you could provide. Again, it shows a level of respect and value of who you are and what you bring to the table. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here. And I'll see you there. Relationships are the key to a successful life. But there's five areas that we have to be mindful of when it comes to relationships. There's relationship with God, relationship with ourselves, relationship with family and friends,